Blair? Blair, are you in there? Vicky? I think it's locked. We're locked in. What else is new? Hello? Hello, can anybody hear me? We're locked in here. Someone open this door right now. Why is this happening to me? To you? I'm the one who's claustrophobic. Yeah, right on cue. And what is that supposed to mean? Oh, Dorian, come on. We've been over this routine countless times. It's like some sort of cosmic joke by now. We get stuck somewhere together, we fight like cats and dogs, and then somebody rescues us. I don't know about you, but I find this very old. There is nothing left to fight about. I wouldn't be so sure of that. Of what? Maybe. Maybe this was supposed to happen. Maybe the universe meant for us to have it out once and for all. Actually, I think the universe has more important things to do than to set up yet another pointless grudge match between us. Pointless? Hmm. I'm not so sure it's pointless. I... How can you be so certain that we don't have something really important to discuss? Well, the thing is, I don't want to discuss anything with you. My children are upstairs, two of whom I never get to see. And their grandfather just died. I should be spending today with them, not you. Hello, hello! You're not my favorite person either. But there really is something very important that I need to say to you. Oh, I doubt it. You better hear me out, Victoria. Because I've kept this to myself far too long. Six. I really don't care! about what goes on between you and Clint, and I wish to hell you would leave me out of it. This has nothing to do with Clint. This is about your father, Victor. Victor? Dorian, we've covered that subject ad nauseum. But we haven't covered the fact that I'm the one who killed him. Are you insane? No. You cornered that market a long time ago. Think about it. Why would I lie? Why would you lie? Oh, I can think of about a million reasons right off the top of my head. Name one. I am not having this conversation with you. You know, I would think that you'd be thrilled that I'm letting you off the hook. I don't want to be let off the hook, okay? I accepted a long time ago that I murdered my father. Except you didn't. I did. Actually, Dorian, neither one of us did. You can't have forgotten his triumphant return from the grave a few years ago. If it really was him. Oh, for heaven's sakes! You know, I know that everything in your life is a competition. But I cannot believe you seriously expect me to argue over who killed Victor and that you want to win! You want to rehash Victor, you go right ahead. You're on your own. I want no part of it. I refuse to define my life by how it relates to yours. Oh? And how do you define your life? Excuse me? We've just been to Asa's funeral. We've heard uh, speeches, eulogies. We, we, we've heard all about his dreams hopes and accomplishments, a virtual tour of what defined that man's life. So I'm asking you again, what defines yours, Vicky? Because from where I'm standing, it looks pretty damn empty to me. Life is empty. 
I have found happiness at long last. What about you? My life is very full, thank you very much. Oh, is it? With what? I'm asking you a question, Vicky. What is your life so full of? Oh, brother. Okay, fine, Dorian. Let's start with four children. Right, two sons who you hardly ever see, two daughters whose lives are so busy that... What else? I have a newspaper. Which runs itself. What else? This is ridiculous. Ah, nothing else. No! Gracious! I, I, I have my home, I have my family, I have my, my paper, I have my work at the hospital, I have... And what about love? What? Is there any love? Well, I am not pining for Clint, if that's what you're getting at. Maybe you are, maybe you're not. But let's just put Clint aside for the moment. Just make your point, would you? My point is that you only have one life to live. Ace's life is over, but yours isn't, not yet. You've had a successful career, husbands, children. What's next? What are you going to do with the rest of your life? Please, please, just leave me alone. My God, are you incapable of minding your own business? Fine, don't listen to what I have to say. Believe me, I'm not. I mean, where is everybody? I told Nigel I was going to be here. Somebody must be missing us. Chad, could I say one more thing? Is it about my father? Maybe. Go ahead. Uh, Mrs. Davidson, I'm so very sorry. I should have warned you about this key. Thank heavens you remembered that she was down here. The two of you were in here together? <sighs> oh, dear. It's all right, I'm fine. Let's get this champagne upstairs so we can honor Ace's wishes. But, Vicky, Dorian, I think it's enough for today, don't you? In fact, I think it's enough forever.